For number 17, we want to draw these curves um, and find the area between them. Now, these, uh, these curves here and here, they're both um, transformations of this equation. x is equal to y squared. Um, now, this may look a little bit funny, but we let's make a parallel between y is equal to x squared. So we do know how this relationship between an input and the square of its input looks like. It looks like our parabola. So we still do have the relationship between an input and its square, but now our input is y. So it looks, it looks the same, but now we just flip it over. Um, onto the x-axis, because it's like our image is in the x-axis. So um, both of our equations are transformed versions of this equation that looks like a parabola lying sideways. Um, so let, let us draw this for the first one. We do have x is equal to 2y squared. So it has just been um, stretched. It looks sort of the same, but now it just, it should open up kind of steeper than, than normal. Um, so that is x is equal to 2y squared. And let us consider the second one, which is the regular, it looks like a regular um, parabola that's lying sideways, but now the vertex has been shifted four units up. And because now we are on the x-axis, so it has shifted to one, two, three, four, it has been shifted like so. So it should, it should go about here. And let us just draw this intersection. In a better way, yes. So this one, uh, the one in green, is x is equal to y squared plus 4. And we can see that their intersection, the area between them, is this part over here. So to set up our integral, we are going to integrate with respect to y. And we are going to do so because... Uh, when we get the area, we're going to sum up horizontal rectangles, uh, which comes from our the idea of a Riemann sum. So these horizontal rectangles look like this, where the width here is just dy for a small chunk of the y-axis, um, because the orientation is vertical. And for the length, we just do have... Um, the upper equation, which is y squared plus 4, minus the lower equation, so minus 2y squared. Um, so before we can set up our integral, we do need to find the bounds of integration. Uh, and the bounds of integration are defined by this point over here and this point over here, which are the points of intersection. So to find the points of intersection, we do have to set these equations equal to each other. So we have um, we have y squared plus 4 is equal to 2y squared. So we'll bring everything over to the left. Um, and minus 2y squared plus y squared is just minus y squared plus 4 is equal to 0. So when we, um, actually, maybe I should have brought the other one to the left, uh, to the right side, because then it's easier. So I'll just bring this y squared to the right side. So 4 is equal to 2y squared minus y squared is y squared. Yeah. And now I can solve for y. So y is equal to plus or minus 2. Um, so we are ready to set up our integral. And now, instead of going from from plus and minus 2, I'm actually, I'm just going to realize that this, it is symmetric, right? Uh, maybe not so much in my drawing, but it should be symmetric. So this part over here, the lower part from minus 2 to 0, is symmetric to the upper part, to this one, from 0 to 2. They have the same area. 
And the reason that we know it is symmetric because the parabola does have an axis of symmetry. So we can say that this is twice the area from 0 to 2 of the upper curve, which is y squared plus 4 minus 2y squared and all of this times dy. And we can't forget where the dy comes from, which is just the width of our horizontal rectangle. Um, and the reason that we do 2 times the integral from 0 to 2, because then it becomes much easier to compute the lower boundary, which is 0. So let's just clean this up a little bit. This is equal to 2 times the integral from 0 to 2 of y squared minus 2y squared is minus y squared plus 4 times a dy. So now we just... Um, we just apply our regular reverse power rule. So this is 2 times minus y cubed over 3 plus 4y evaluated from 0 to 2. So this is 2 times um, minus 2 cubed over 3 plus uh, 4 times 2. So this is equal to um, 2 times minus 2 cubed over 3, that is minus 8 times 2, so minus 16 over 3, plus 2 times 4 times 2, which is plus 16. So to wrap this up, our area is, this is equal to 32 over 3. So let me just zoom out so you can see the big picture. We just drew these curves and then we, um, we integrated it with respect to y.